Washington senior from Bedford, New York, leading the charge. Gets to the slot, lost the handle, winds up with Tessa Ward. Sarah Jalmerson reaching for it. Jalmerson on the move. In on Frankel and sends that one through the crease. UNH last weekend, seven different Husky goal scorers in the quarterfinal win. Zipra slipping in over the blue line. Katie Zipra scores on the backhand. Oh! Lifted it up to the corner, past Abstrider. And in the opening moments of the championship game, it's a 1-0 Northeastern lead. That's exactly what Coach Kelly was afraid of, the transition game. That's how quick Northeastern could strike. They have to take care of the puck in the neutral zone. It's the second goal of the playoffs for Katie Sipra, the senior from Western Springs, Illinois. Yeah, and that was a terrific move. She took it to, the, to her backhand and made a great shot just inside the post. Sandra Abstrad had it pretty well covered. There wasn't a lot of room there, yet she was able to find top corner with the backhand. Just a great play. In fact, it looked like Abstrad actually got an arm on that. Center toward Lindsay Bachner. Bachner had a two-goal game against New Hampshire exactly a month ago. Very nice. Casey Brooks with a drive and a save from Frankel. That's exactly what we're talking about, just making plays. And down by one. Absolutely. And you can see a little Yukon in them right now because they got four people in the neutral zone, really making it hard for, for Northeastern to get through the neutral zone and, and create that transition game that they so much want to play. Barnett got a quick shot off. A good save from Frankel. In Hockey East for the Catamounts program. Pretty Gonzo's. special award to win. Double team forced the turnover. Arar back to Carter on the blue line. One-timer Mueller gobbled up by Abstrider with a couple of bodies in front. She'll hang on. Yeah, she made yeah just a terrific play. We're just talking about this. Where they drive them back on the initial rush, and then they find the late defenseman coming in for a second wave, and then they get the puck to net with a lot of traffic there. That's a really tough save. Right now. Yeah. Hops in a handoff to Murphy. Gets it free to Fontaine. Across the middle. Big save, Abstrider. Second trap from Arard. She gets table topped into the goal. And let's take a second look. With 5.31 to go, yeah. it is still a 1-0 Northeastern lead as Abstrider stands tall. Power play. Off the blocker of Abstrider. Now Ward. Off to her right, Katie Knoll across the zone. Big save, Abstrider. Renner had a gaping net, but Abstrider sealed it off with 23 seconds left on the power play. I think we're going to remember that save later in the game. Great job of keeping it one goal game. That's a really nice play right there. It's an old backside. That's a great pl play to one time that puck to the net. And, he, and just an impressive save by Abstrider coming across there. That's how Northeastern scored their first goal against UConn with play from behind the net and when it went for a raw. Last time that was Mueller taking that shot and it was a little bit more in front of the net. And Northeastern including the overtime game winner. Here's that shot that I was talking about. I mean she just flicks it. And Franklin had a really, you know, had net front presence there. Had to pick up. The one man forecheck that Providence is using is really going to test the, con the concentration and the discipline of Northeastern. Perfect example there. There's that one-man forecheck where the wing steps up, creates the turnover. And Frankel does a nice job of controlling that rebound. On the campus of Northeastern University, here at historic Matthews Arena, Mueller breaking free. In on Abstrader and a kick save. Arard at second try. That one goes wide. We'll bring it back to Arard with 13. Abstrader has stopped 23 of 24 shots so far, including against her former teammate here, Maureen Murphy. Yeah, it's a really nice plate. It's a really good look at it. Head up. Avoids the stick, quality shot on net. Nice job by Frankel, because the Providence person is the first person. To... Off the wall for Ward. Challenging Gonsalves. Oh, that one oh, got the oh, ball oh, right on the oh. goal line. They score! A long distance delivery, and Northeastern doubles the lead. Wow. You know, just one of those freak plays where you just dump it on the net, and you never know what could happen. And there was... Something happened there, that's for sure. Tessa you know, Ward, first points of the playoffs, goal number six this season. Yeah, it looks, it looks like a nothing play. She dumps it on the net, hits the post, and just happens to come perfectly off the post and hits Tanda Abstrader in the back of her skate and just trickles over the line. And as good as Abstrider's been tonight, 
Here's a perfect look at it right there. Wow. H. Shot from distance, save made, rebound, score, Peterson! Her third goal of the postseason, and after a deflating goal, Providence is right back in it. That's one of the few mistakes Aaron Frankel's made to this point in the game. With that, that was, shot looked like it was nothing, and then all of a sudden the rebound came right out to Peterson, and she quick-sticked it, made no mistake about it. It's a hell of a shot, by the way. Frankel gets over there, and she puts it off the post and in. Just a tremendous play. Again, just getting pucks to the net. I'm sure that's a rebound that Frank would like to have back. But what an unbelievable shot by Caroline Peterson. Providence right back in it, but Northeastern's not slowing down anytime soon. Yeah, that's how close it is to Northeastern hopping out to a two-goal lead again. But this time, the post is not as friendly, and it stayed out. But a great second effort there by Barnett to make sure. The goaltender and trickled in as Abstrader was reaching for it, trying to clear. A lot of teams might have given up. Providence scored just a few moments later. Oh, that's a great point. It's a tremendous point. That one is centered in. Chance for Burton. Second try on the backhand. Bachner denied. Third bid saved again by Frankel. Off the paddle of Abstrider. Murphy feeds Fontaine. Arar back to Fontaine. Her shot was blocked by Gonsalves. Halfway through the penalty. Providence dodged the bullet there. The zone has not been cleared yet. Fontaine to the middle. One-timer, they score! It's Maureen Murphy, the former Friar on the power play. Northeastern back up by two. That's a really nice setup for Fontaine to find the bumper in the middle of the, of the soft coverage of Providence's penalty kill, Murphy. And she's deadly from that distance. The way she can shoot the puck in her release. Here you go, you see it. Hudson down to Fontaine. Murphy finds the soft area there. She's got a tremendous release. Again, really well executed power play. And there's a perfect look at it right there. For them. So they're going to have to play and they've never made an excuse and they're not going to make an excuse today either. Down by two. In the Hockey East Championship game in a top 10 battle. How about that feat to Hobson? And how about that save from Sandra Abstrider? Flat now Claire Tayo tried to lob that one over Hobson, but she makes the catch. And able to find Molly Griffin. Griffin Whoa. gets in and she scores! The freshman from Arlington, Massachusetts. Just her second goal of the season. And she's broken this one open for Northeastern. What a tremendous athletic play to catch that. Bring it to her forward, her forehand, and then snap it low glove side. Just a tremendous play. Great release, catches Abstrade going to her right, shooting it back to her left. Just a terrific play. That could be a backbreaker right there that they play. And he was effusive in his praise this week. Not just of the talent on the ice, but the personalities of those three. And there's another goal. Slipping in from behind the net. That could be the dagger. It is Michaela Sindoris snuck up on Abstrider and gives Northeastern a 5-1 lead. Yeah, that's a really good shot. I mean, there's really not a lot of net there. Sindoris comes around the net, gets the puck. Abstraight is down. There's really not a lot there. She puts it short side just by her ear. It's a tremendous shot. There's yeah. not much Sandra could do on that. Didn't sneak up on the goaltender. Just found that slight yeah. window. Yeah, there's not a lot there. Deserved <laughs> return to the Hockey East Mountaintop for the Huskies. They can finish these final six minutes and 45 seconds tonight. Now I think Coach Flint just wants to get through this game healthy. Julianne there it is. finds a way to put it home. Got tipped on its way toward Frankel. And for the first time in 15 games, somebody scored twice against Northeastern. Yeah, that was like Hunter Barnett again getting her stick on a puck that is directed towards the net. There it is. Great shot by Julian again. Terrific tip. Might have been John Estavastanos right there. 
Dispossessed, but possession continues. Down goes Jomerson. Net is empty. Spinning puck. The race is on. Does Julian have enough in the tank? Fontaine beats her there and tips it home. You know, it's funny. In talking to Coach Flint today, he said, you wouldn't believe how fast Guy LaFontaine is. And there's a perfect example of it. She was like one line behind the Providence play going back for the puck, and yet she was still not only able to catch her, but out-muscle her to put that puck in the net. A play emblematic of the ability of Skylar Fontaine. He said it, probably the best two-way player in the conference, if not the country. The athleticism and the exclamation point on an impressive championship game performance from Northeast. You can hear some banging from the bench. The Huskies can feel it now. Well, you got to give a lot of credit to the Friars. They gave them everything they had. They held on there for as long as they could. They have nothing to be ashamed of. Down the ice it goes. Five seconds left. The Britannia Trophy is not going anywhere for the fourth consecutive season. Northeastern. Northeastern. 